With the end of 2018 flying by fast, here's information about a new twist on an old strategy that could save you a thousand dollars or much more in taxes if you act by the end of the year. Under the new tax rules that went into effect for the first time this year, the standard deduction almost doubled to twelve thousand dollars for singles and twenty-four thousand dollars for couples filing jointly. The problem is, if you take the standard deduction, you're no longer allowed to lower your taxable income by itemizing deductions for charitable donations, medical expenses, mortgage interest, and other miscellaneous expenses. Bunching deductions, an old tax tactic, can be used in an entirely new way to reduce your tax bill. By planning to take the new, much larger standard deduction some years and bunching deductions in other years, you may be able to lower your bill significantly. For example, let's say a married couple is planning to take the maximum property and state income tax deduction now allowed of ten thousand dollars. They pay eight thousand dollars in mortgage interest and usually make five thousand dollars of charitable donations a year. Their 2018 deductions total twenty-three thousand dollars. Since that's less than the twenty-four thousand standard deduction, they take the standard deduction in 2018. Now, let's say the couple banks their 2018 charitable contribution of five thousand dollars instead of giving it to charity, and they plan to give ten thousand dollars to charity in 2019. By combining two years of donations, they can itemize deductions and claim twenty-eight thousand dollars in deductions. That's four thousand dollars less in taxable income, which would net them fourteen hundred dollars in tax savings if they're in the thirty-five percent combined tax bracket. Depending on your personal income situation, you could save more. This is just a quick illustration and requires careful planning and discipline, and we're here to help with that. But you need to act before the opportunity passes by.